Military forces shot dead at least three people and at least 38 were injured during nationwide protest in Sudan on Saturday, according to a doctor's committee, as hundreds of thousands of people demonstrated against a recent military coup. One witness said they heard gunshots and saw people being carried away bleeding in the city of Omdurman. Sudanese police denied shooting protesters. The military was not immediately available to comment. In the capital of Khartoum, security forces used tear gas and gunfire to try to disperse a huge crowd. Protesters on Saturday carried Sudanese flags and chanted slogans like, military rule can't be praised, as they marched in neighborhoods across Khartoum and beyond. Thousands of people have already demonstrated this week against the ousting of Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok's cabinet on Monday by General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan. And at least 13 protesters have been killed in clashes with security forces. Burhan has said he removed the cabinet to avert civil war after civilian politicians stoked hostility to the armed forces. He says he is still committed to a democratic transition, including elections in July 2023. The takeover has led Western states to freeze hundreds of millions of dollars in aid to Sudan, where an economic crisis has seen shortages of food and medicine, and where nearly a third of the population is in need of urgent humanitarian support.